Hey guys, it's Scott here and welcome to my channel. If you are new, this is going to be a frequently asked questions Q&A that I have pretty much made up from all the things that I get asked every single day in my streams uh, multiple times. So if you're new to the channel, hopefully this will give you a bit more of a flavour of what I'm about. Uh, certain things that, again, I get asked all the time uh, and how I roll with it. So, let's get into it, shall we? To start off, what is your name? Scott Bird. Very, very simple. Uh, hence the reason for my name on YouTube, Birdie94. Uh, last name Bird, nickname Birdie, 94, year of birth. Simple, right? And to follow on from that, how old am I? 22 as the on the day that this video goes out. But if you're watching this after the 26th, I turn 23 on the 27th of August. So there you go. Uh, next question that gets asked a hell of a lot is where am I from? Uh, if you can't tell by my accent, then I'm from England. If you also can't tell where from England I am from my accent, I am from Leicester. Uh, and so that also answers the question of what team do I support for how long since I was born? I've had a season ticket since I was like 10 or 12 or something like that. So uh, yeah, I've supported Leicester for pretty much my entire life since I've been involved in football because I've lived here my entire life. My parents uh, support them, etc, etc. Uh, to continue from that, uh, favourite Leicester player right now as I'm recording this, Wilfred Ndidi. Least favourite, Andy King. Get him out of our club. Uh, the next sort of set of questions are more about YouTube and streaming, I guess, compared to personal questions to do with me. So what was my YouTube inspiration and why did I begin? It was due to Machinima Respawn back in the day, for those that know. Uh, you'll know how amazing it was. Uh, pretty much through like the Modern Warfare 2 days of COD and things like that. Also a little bit of FIFA jumped in on the Machinima Sports channel that sort of got created as a part of that on the side. And so that inspired me. I wanted to do videos. I wanted to stream. So I started off doing Modern Warfare 2. And a couple of people have also asked, when did you start YouTube? 2010 was the first date that I uh, created my channel and I uploaded a video. Unfortunately, that first video was removed due to YouTube uh, cutting down on, like, just being super, super strict on videos that are uploaded, unfortunately. So my first upload that you guys can see is from a little bit later. But I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, how long will I be doing YouTube is also something I get asked from time to time. I don't, right now, see a reason to stop. Uh, there are two reasons why I may stop in the future. One is that I'm not enjoying it anymore because I've done this for so long and I've enjoyed what I've done. If I haven't enjoyed a game that I've been playing, then I will play something else. I'll stop streaming it for a bit or doing videos, etc, etc. So if I don't enjoy anything, then I'll stop completely. And two, if it gets in the way of other things, so whether that be uh, work, uni, relationships, etc, etc. If YouTube became a bit of a burden, then I would stop. But I don't see that really happening. Um, so I hope that I can continue doing this for as long as possible. Uh, some people also ask me, is this my job? No, definitely not. I don't get anywhere near enough people watching my videos or streams for that to be the case. I am at uni, but the uni year, uh, the next uni year starts in September and I will be doing two more years of a master's degree in architecture at DMU in order to finish off that. And after that, people have asked me, what do you plan to do? Probably get a job. I have no idea at this point in time. So uh, simple as that. So I don't have a job as it stands. Next few questions are mainly about FIFA and also FIFA 17, I guess, in general. So a couple of people have asked me, do I spend money on the game? In FIFA 17 and pretty much every FIFA before this, I have put money in. For example, this year I've put in 50,000 FIFA points, etc. FIFA 18, I don't really plan to put any money in as it stands. Um, because I would like to be able to experience the game like a normal person. That is what my channel is based around. Uh, it's like my persona. I'm just a normal guy that chills out and I play FIFA. I talk to the people that watch my streams, right? I would like to do that in the case that I don't spend money, because a lot of people do not when they play the game. Uh, also, uh, people ask, uh, do I rage and do I get really annoyed at FIFA? From time to time I get annoyed, but I don't rage. I think it's stupid to like... Uh, like, for example, oh my god, let's smash my controller, waste 50 quid. That seems very silly to me, so I don't do that kind of thing, no. If you're new to my channel, then I chill out and I play the game like a normal guy. Again, I don't spend loads of money on packs because I can't afford to do it. I don't do giveaways, I don't rage at the game, etc, etc. Uh, a couple of other questions to do with FIFA. 
Um, what is your average in foot champions? So happy for 17, it was gold slash elite. I got top 100 once, got 61st in the world with 35 wins. FIFA 18, who knows what's going to happen. My favourite player on the game is 87 Perisic, absolute beast. My best pack on this game is either Ronaldo or Vieira, and my best pack of all time is 96 Zlatan Ibrahimic, uh, Ibrahimovic on FIFA 15. People ask me, how do I make my coins on FIFA? I play the game a hell of a lot. Again, since Team of the Year, I haven't put FIFA points in. I play Foot Champions, I've made millions of coins through that, hence why next year I don't plan to put any money in because I believe that I can make enough from that to get whatever team I want. Uh, we have also got, uh, have you got a favourite player of all time on FIFA? No, I do not. But my favourite player of all time in real life is Ronaldinho. Absolute legend. I love the guy. Hence why my FIFA 18 Road to Glory series, or my Ultimate Team Journey series, as I like to call it, is going to be based around him and other icons in the game. So, a couple of final questions to do with the channel. Uh, mainly, uh, things that you can see on my screen at all times. Uh, one is, why do you have so many like stuffed animals and things like that? For example, koala. Uh, you've got a Pikachu over there, you've got Pooh Bear and stuff in the background. They're cool, right? I mean, maybe not by your definition of cool, but to me, I like them. I don't know. Uh, next, what is up with Pikachu? What's he got in his head? And why is there a duck on top? El Pika was something that was added throughout FIFA 17. I don't really know why. I bought a an emoji pillow... Uh, for another reason, and then I got Pikachu with it, because why not, he's amazing. And then we decided to put a sombrero on him, because, again, why not, it's incredible. And Craig the Duck on top of there, for those that haven't been on this channel for a long time, he's been here since like FIFA 12 slash FIFA 13. Used to be on the top of my microphone when I used to stream, he'd just be sat on top of there. Um, just something that I've had for years in my life that... I take on basically every single trip with me, take pictures with that duck. Yes, it sounds very weird, but it's something that I do. It's just sort of like a ritual now. Wherever I go in the world, he has to go with me. And so he stays on my streams at all times as well. So I believe that that is it pretty much for Frequently Asked Questions. If you've got any other questions that you would like to ask, put them in the comment section down below. Obviously, there are some that are specific to... Uh, a, an individual stream, so I won't be answering those in this Q&A. But thank you very much for watching. Again, leave your feedback in the comments, and I will see you tomorrow for the return to my streams for my birthday. Going to be an interesting one. Hopefully you can tune into that at 6 o'clock. I'll see you guys there. Goodbye.